Well, the light bulb finally went off in a big, bright way. It happened while meeting with Superintendent John Dacey of Los Angeles Schools. It's an extremely, extremely simple concept. Educational change comes from doing, and only from doing. Change is not passive thinking. Change is not grandiose benchmarking. Change is not some five-year plan that's the size of a huge encyclopedia. Change is not bold promises or firebrand speeches. Change is not intrusive legislation. Change is not one-size-fits-all reform initiatives. So make no mistake about it, that change comes from action, action, action. Now the common core is stealing the show. There'll be a lot of debate, a lot of posturing, a lot of pontificating. But the most important question is, will there be a lot of doing? Look, we all want excellent public schools, but we can't just wish or hope for excellence. The action, the doing, the change comes from transforming instruction and the nature of student engagement. Now think about how important this message really is. Educational change doesn't mean reciting the latest best practices literature. That's not doing. Guess what? The same goes for buzzwords. Buzzwords are talk. They're not walk. Promoting 21st century learning is not doing. It's a buzzword. It's not change. Promoting differentiated instruction is not doing. It's a buzzword. It's not change. The answer lies in student engagement. Taking a numerical snapshot of student engagement across all classrooms is a powerful, powerful thing. It really is a picture that's worth a million words. But data's not action. Data is not doing. So teachers must get busy with the numbers. That means charting the data. That means continuously tracking their progress over time. That means actively collaborating in small groups. That means hammering out firm action plans over time with discipline. You see, difference makers replicate their success and they learn from their shortcomings. It's a team effort. It's a team mission. But no one's passively theorizing. No one's a sideline spectator. That's because faculties are too busy acting, too busy doing, too busy changing the instructional environments around them. Now everybody's talking about the common core, and that means test score mania is here to stay. But when student engagement is transformed, teachers will want to talk about outcomes. They'll want to advertise the fact that higher order thinking rules each instructional hour. They will want to proudly declare that student disengagement is nowhere to be found. And here's the best part. SAT scores jump 300 points. That's six full ACT points. Face it, teachers will be stopping random people on the street to share that kind of news. Now don't get me wrong, school leaders can stick with the buzzwords and the theory. They can keep insisting that money is the cure-all solution. But if that's the game plan, let's at least call it what it is. It's burning billions of dollars of cash. But if enough is finally enough, then grab a copy of my new book, Burning Cash. Let's get to work by doing. Let's take on the heavy instructional lifting. That's where change happens. That's how we pave the way to the American dream. Look, it's not easy, but real change never is. Thank you.